Brexit has given fishermen increased freedom but there is great anxiety the industry in Scotland could be damaged if Nicola Sturgeon pushes to rejoin the EU. Throughout Brexit, fishermen criticised the European Common Fisheries Policy CFP, and there is concern they could be dragged back into it, one industry insider has revealed. Speaking to Express, Chief Executive of the National Federation of Fishermen's Organisations Barry Des warned there was great concern the industry in Scotland could be harmed if Ms Sturgeon takes the country back into the EU. Commenting on the possibility of Scottish fishermen returning to the policy, Mr Des said, I think there's great anxiety that the Scottish industry would be back would be dragged back into the common fisheries policy, which is why I think the Conservative MPs which were elected in the 2017 general election, I think there's quite a strong coastal element to the essence of Conservative fortunes in Scotland. And that's largely driven by the fishing vote in particular constituencies. So I think there is strong anxiety the Scottish industry would find itself back in the common fisheries policy. Mr Des insisted trade could be chaotic in an independent Scotland back in the bloc. He added, I suppose when you think about it if Scotland was independent in the EU, unless a different way of exporting was found, it would mean Scottish fish crosses two borders. It would be crossing out of the EU into the UK and then out of the UK into the EU again. It would certainly raise issues. The CFP has long been criticised for how it has exploited British fishermen throughout the UK's time within the EU. The CFP is a set of rules which allows all EU 27 member states equal access to the exclusive economic zone. Due to the UK having such a rich and large fishing zone, many British fishermen have insisted it allowed other EU states to exploit our waters. Following the conclusion of Brexit talks, the EU and UK agreed to new terms over the fisheries sector. Under the Trade and Cooperation Agreement, the UK will receive a 25% quota return over a five-and-a-half-year period.